In the German town of Kassel, an anti-lockdown protest quickly turning violent. With no face masks and very little social distancing, more than 20,000 mostly far-right opponents of the government's COVID regulations turned up at this rally. Some shouting peace, freedom and no dictatorship. They're unlikely to like what's coming. The country is about to tighten restrictions even further, faced with an exponential rise in new cases and a shortage of vaccines. German Chancellor Angela Merkel promising to get vaccinations back on track after a three-day precautionary pause over the AstraZeneca jab. The devise lautet impfen, impfen, impfen. Italy too is about to put Easter plans on hold, with new curbs that began last week shutting up shops and restricting people's movements. A deafening silence in normally busy tourist hotspots as Italians prepare for a second Easter in lockdown. In Poland, a fourth lockdown has closed up non-essential shops and sent children back to home learning for three weeks. Natomiast rzeczywiście sytuacja jest zła i zapanowanie nad nią dzisiaj ma znaczenie fundamentalne. A concern not shared by Parisians basking in the spring sun despite nearly 40,000 new infections a day and the start of a new month-long lockdown on a third of the country. The new rules are less restrictive than previous lockdowns, allowing people to exercise and schools to remain open, leaving some to question its effectiveness. As you can see, everyone is eating, removing their masks, so no, this lockdown doesn't change a lot. In London, a massive turnout at this protest against COVID restrictions despite police warning. At one point, protesters surrounding the police and pelting them with objects before the officers resumed control. Rashida Yousafzai, SBS.